This is Thee's Theater, starring C.J. Fee. Hello, YouTube! Welcome to the second episode of Thee's Theater. Tonight we have a very, very special thing in store for you. We're going to explore the Down Under, a very special room in Thee's Theater, because it encompasses... 50 years of collecting. Yes, you heard it right. I've been collecting 50 years. Movie posters, toys, records, concert paraphernalia all along the way. And you're in for a treat. You're going to get it firsthand right now. So follow me. Ah! Whoa, that invigorated me. Welcome to the Down Under, a special part of Thieves Theater, where we have most of the collection of movie posters, a lot of the toys, and all of the records. In this room, you will see basically all of the movie posters that I have in conjunction with the ones that you saw in the last episode of Thieves Theater. I'm very, very proud of the collection. It's basically been happening since 1977 went to the movie theater and asked the movie theater owner if I could have one of the movie posters and that basically got me on the way to collecting. What posters are you gravitated to towards the most? Well, before I answer that question, let me introduce my producer and my son, Chase. What's up, Chase. everybody? How you doing? Chase is going to be very big someday. He's going to be <laughs> fantastic. Chase, to answer that question, it's it's the hand-drawn posters of the 50s, no doubt. They're just extraordinary in the coloring and just the artwork. It just explodes. Nothing has come close to the science fiction horror genre movie posters of the 50s in my eyes. Now, Invisible Invaders, I think this is in my at least my top five of all my favorite movie posters, simply because it's just so colorful and the subject matter is just quintessential 1950s. Look at these Star Wars toys. <laughs> yes, Chase, there are quite a few Star Wars toys. Back in the uh, late 90s when, when the second line came out was around the time that uh, some of the new Star Wars movies were coming out. They're just fantastic when you, when you look at the detail of some of these things. I think, for all intents and purposes, the detail on, on some of these toys definitely surpasses some of the vintage toys. Wow, look at this one. Yes, <laughs> that is, of course, the Wampa and Luke Skywalker from Empire Strikes Back. What about these ones here? Uh, those are Mars Attacks. Now, Mars Attacks, uh, really, really the, the toy that got me into collecting uh, action figures. Uh, these, are, these are all on card, all mint condition. Take a look at that. That's that's the Martian spy girl, and uh, that was portrayed by uh, Priscilla Presley. And here is the Martian ambassador. And this toy right here is basically the toy that got me into collecting action figures. When I saw this on the shelf after seeing the movie, I was really bitten by the bug. That's how all this started to develop. Look at your shirt too. Look, he's got the Mars Attacks shirt on. It's a little props, little uh, props. It's, you know, this is not really proper, but uh, yeah, the Martians, uh, sorry, sorry animal lovers, uh, <laughs> getting the dog, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just take a look at the artwork on this toy. I mean, it, it's, it's, a, it's a heavy toy and uh, I don't have uh, the batteries in it right now, but you could push this button and uh, it'll light up. Not only light up, but it'll also, <laughs> I'm gonna put this down on my eye doctor's chair. You can see we got this from my good friend. What's this here? What's this up here? Well, that's Godzilla. And uh, also a little bit controversial, but uh, I also do collect menus. Uh, these are bona fide menus. I've been collecting them since uh, since I was about 12 years old. So in future episodes, we'll get more into these menus because they're very, very special. But come on over this way, folks. I want to show you this pride and joy of of the Down Under, which is essentially the records and the setup. The coffin made by Sound Environments, uh, Michael Canaccio. Uh, this was built in the early 90s and it still works, it still works great. And it's vinyl, Carver Amp, uh, Yuri uh, <laughs> EQ. 
<laughs> GLI mixer. WCJT 69.9. Yes. Fantastic. All these records on this wall are categorized by beat. That means all I would need to do is reach in, grab two, put them down in the platters, and believe me, a caveman can mix it. I was DJing back since college, 1981. Back in the day, you know, of course there was no internet. So like uh, what I would do is I would listen to Tony Humphreys and I would listen to his mixes religiously on Saturday nights. And I would go up into the city to Vinyl Mania and basically would have to like hum verses of these songs in order to get the records. But back in the day, I was bringing those records back to the Jersey Shore and breaking that music at local dance clubs, dance venues. I was one of the house music jocks down here at the Jersey Shore, and it really got crazy sometimes. But, you know, we have uh, some toys mixed in along the way here. Some aliens splashed in around the corner. You got, look at what you got around the corner there. Matrix and Xena. Xena. We're going to do specials on all these. Oh, you got to show them the, the newspaper clippings. Oh, yes, we have newspaper clippings. And these newspaper clippings are basically of... Um, times that were very very special in our history the space shuttle when the space shuttle blew up and i was an eye my wife and i were uh, eyewitnesses to the space shuttle blowing up so check these out folks this is an uncut sheet of wacky packages look at that that's how they came before they went through the cutter and there is your backs of these things and you'd have to put together these packages mm. but isn't that great well i mean take a look at rice a phony <laughs> isn't that fantastic youtube thank you for joining me on this second episode of these theater i've had a great time i hope you have too along the way this series is going to take you on a journey of some things that you're not going to be able to find many places on the internet and i want to share that stuff with you because this is 50 years of composing a collection of movie posters and toys and records and I just want you to be a part of it. Now, please subscribe below, ring the notification bell, and make sure you like these videos because there's going to be a lot more. So stay tuned.